This is the traffic light puzzle from Creative Workshop. It's made here in Canada. It's a 3D printed sequential discovery puzzle box. The first thing you need to do is to remove each of the traffic signals, and then you'll open the box and find out what's inside. Find out more about this puzzle in this episode of Puzzle Time. Welcome to episode 129 of Puzzle Time. In this episode, we're talking about Lawrence Chen and his company Creative Workshop and their new puzzle called Traffic Light. Uh, this is a 3D printed puzzle. It is a level eight on the Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale, which runs from five to 10. So it's kind of a medium difficulty. Uh, it is sequential discovery. Uh, like I said, 3D printed. And the objective, Linnea, is to remove the green, yellow, and red lights, and then open the box. And it's going to open here from the top. Uh, what do you know about this puzzle? Have you have you played with it at all? Um, a little bit. So this green one seems like it's free spinning. The yeah. red one here spins, but you can feel it like kind of click here. So yeah. something's catching onto it there, and then the yellow one's fixed. And then yeah. you can notice like a red dot inside of there. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then on this side inside. is a green dot. So. Yes. And then you can hear a lot of pins or balls or stuff going on inside there. And that's basically what I've noticed from it. So. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a little bit of engraving there on the side where it shows uh, says traffic light by Creative Workshop. Creative Workshop is a Canadian company. Uh, Lawrence Chen lives in Canada, but is originally from Taiwan. He prints his puzzles. Uh, I know, I don't know if this is gonna matter to a lot of you, but he prints his puzzles on a Prusa MK3. Now, I recently bought a 3D printer and I bought that same kind of printer because Lawrence and a bunch of others um, all recommended it. This is kind of what a bunch of our 3D printing guys print on is a Prusa MK3, which is a, a, a printer made in the Czech Republic. Uh, the interesting thing I thought was that he designs his puzzles while he's on vacation. So like a lot of puzzle designers, puzzle makers, this is kind of a side hobby that they do for fun. He said this puzzle took about three to four days of solid work. Uh, he didn't do it all in, in consecutively, but he had like probably about three to four days, he figured, of just solid, solid work all day uh, to make it. It's, he started designing it about two months ago. And uh, he's, he's fairly new into the puzzle design world, puzzle making world. Uh, I think he said he only bought his printer like a couple of years ago or something. And he's printed a lot of different puzzles. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show actually the first step of this puzzle. I, I, I talked to Lawrence. I asked him if it's okay. And he said we could. So the first one you get, you'd think, would, you, would you think you'd start with red or green, right? Yeah. But you actually start with the yellow. And it is... The uh, Chris Ramsey or whatever special, uh, it's the spin. So it, it spins and then it comes out. And you can see so it's just uh, the pins there is pins. In. So you take it out and there's pin holes here. And then there is pins in here. And I don't want to take them out, but they do, they do fall out fairly easily. Um, yeah, because they'll, they'll fully come out uh, there. So you can kind of see, see a couple of the pins right in there. And they will come out all the way. There's a little short metal metal rod. But uh, that is the first of uh, what is, I think, eight steps to solve this puzzle. And that I, I'd say that's probably the easiest. And you just knocked the pin out, didn't you? Yeah. They're hard to put back in a little bit. There is lots of little pieces in this puzzle. So I would, uh, I would if you do end up purchasing it, I would be careful because there's a lot of little pieces. I actually, I, I ran through the whole solution. Um, like I wanted to see how it solved because it's, it's, it was a really interesting puzzle. So I did run through the solution. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a cool, cool puzzle. I love it. I mean, like most of his other stuff, it's really well thought out. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the traffic light from Creative Workshop. Um, always always a, a fan of when we do Canadian 
companies on here because Puzzle Master is a Canadian company. So yeah, there is the traffic light. Let's put them up. I like that. I love the look of that. Let's move on to our review for the day. Well, yeah, we are talking about a review of what puzzle? Barrel Cooper Sequential Discovery Puzzle Box. This is a good puzzle. I love, love this puzzle. This is from probably my favorite puzzle, 3D printed puzzle designer out there. It's Joseph Covell and his company. What's the company called again? 3D Printy. 3D Printy. I love his stuff. So in this review, who, do, who does the review? Uh, Yvonne, the puzzle guy. Yvonne, the puzzle guy. So he does reviews for us. Check out that review on our site. There is also a solution, I believe, too. Does Yvonne yeah. do the solution? Yvonne does a solution on our page and then he does it on his page as well. As yeah. Mr. Puzzle does it, I think Eric Buffington was the other one. There's a lot, there's a lot there's of them. I, I honestly, there's a lot of people who have done reviews on um, this Barrels Cooper, also um, his other puzzles, Joseph's other puzzles, but I would recommend you go to his YouTube channel, 3D Printy. Uh, just search him up, P-R-I-N-T-Y. Uh, 3D printy, but check out his page on YouTube uh, or his channel on YouTube. Um, subscribe there. He has some really, really, really good videos, and you'll see why he's one of my favorite designers because of just how well he thinks through his puzzles. He's done some redesigns on stuff. He's talked about issues that he's had. I just love it. I, I love his stuff. Um, but yeah, go check out his channel. Yeah. Okay. Next into the online buzz. Online buzz. Okay, online buzz. We are talking about Puzzle Wanderer, hey? And his video of uh, a puzzle called the Locked Sword. Uh, now we watched a short, this is a hashtag short on YouTube. We watched this video, I liked it. Um, I liked it for a few reasons because this Locked Sword is from Arkwood Puzzles. It's a guy named Andrew Crowell. It's a good puzzle. Uh, Arkwood Puzzles is a little bit deceptive because the name says wood but he <laughs> does 3d printed puzzles at least from what we've seen i've never seen any wood ones from him so yeah i'm sure he probably does them but the stuff i've seen is just 3d printed but this is a really awesome puzzle it's a sword that's in the in like a little brick and there's like burr sticks you gotta move and get the sword out yeah it's like um, excalibur kind of you remove the sword from the puzzle right absolutely now i like this video because the way Puzzle Wanderer Gregory shot his video because he speeds up certain parts. He'll, he won't show you the solution, but you kind of see it happen in front of you. But he does it really, really quick. And it's, it's like just these quick chop cuts. I like it. Go check it out. Gregory's one of our favorites, Puzzle Wanderer. He is awesome. Uh, go check out his channel. This video also is posted across a whole bunch of platforms, right? Uh, TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. I saw it on TikTok originally, and then I went to YouTube and Instagram and saw it there. Yeah. So, so it's, it's across all of it. If you want to find out more, too, about this um, locked sword or um, Andrew Powell on Arkwood Puzzles, you can check out Puzzle Time episode 80, 98 because we talk about it in there. Also, we have a solution on the Puzzle Master YouTube channel for the locked sword and it's done by Aaron. So you can go check those out. Um, let's move on to the Puzzle Insider. I mean, we're talking about Gregory today. He does our Puzzle Insider. And uh, we're talking about today, of episode eight of Puzzle Time, our Puzzle Insider, sorry. Um, yeah, and Gregory in this episode talks about puzzles to share with friends. Now, if you haven't seen Puzzle Insider, go check it out. It's another show on our channel. And it's like an, I would say it's like puzzle news. It's just like, it's like I'm watching a news broadcast. There's this really cool stuff. I love how he sets it out. In this episode, in Puzzle Time episode eight, or Puzzle Insider episode eight, talks about puzzles to share with friends. Uh, Linnea, do you, do, you, do you show your friends puzzles? Do you take them out and show them? <laughs> I'm really new to puzzles and honestly, I don't really have friends that are that interested in puzzles, but when Craig's family comes, uh, my husband, I show puzzles off for them. Yeah, I do too. I enjoy seeing them, so. I'm the same way. I like puzzles, but there is not, like, it's, it's a niche industry. There's not a lot yeah. of people that love it, but I think when you can expose people to it, it's a really cool thing. Now, do you have a go-to puzzle that you show? What's uh, your... I like the cannon puzzle. The cannon? Is that like a sequential discovery puzzle? I like that one. I've really gotten into a khaki's picnic basket lately. I've actually 3D printed some of them myself. I love that puzzle. Um, I also, I mean, in this episode, Gregory talks about some of his favorite puzzles and uh, stuff to show off. I think he really likes the Hanayama stuff. And so check out um, this episode of Puzzle Insider and uh, find out what uh, what puzzle is Gregory's go-to for his friends because he definitely has one. 
Uh, but yeah, there, there it is, episode eight of Puzzle Insider. There's nothing more satisfying than using a puzzle you already solved to entertain your friend. But that actually might be a double-edged sword. Because if the puzzle is too difficult or maybe too expensive or too big, it might scare your friends off and they will lose interest really fast. Talking from experience. <laughs> so how do you do it? My go-to puzzles are Hanayamas. I like showing cast loop. This is always the first puzzle I show to my friends. It is extremely simple. All you have are two identical pieces and your goal is to make a loop out of these two pieces. It is simple, it is fun, it is tactile, and it's a great puzzle to start with for a friend. Also, I like introducing my friends to different kinds of puzzles because every different puzzle type requires a little different type of thinking. Some people may enjoy packing puzzles more, other people might enjoy disentanglement puzzles more, and there's really no rule to what puzzle puzzles are the best to let friends try. Encourage your friends, let them try your puzzles, don't be judgmental on them, and let them enjoy themselves solving your own puzzles. This is a great way to maximize value you get from your own puzzles, and also it's really fun watching your friends solve them. What's your go-to puzzles to share with your friends? Let me know in the comments and let's move on to the next article. Next, let's move on to the brain teaser portion of the episode. Linnea, what brain teaser are we showing off today? So I picked out tricky triangles. So I came up with this puzzle probably about a year ago now and have been posting them on. I don't do as many of the tricky triangles ones because they're a little bit harder and we do want to get people, catch people's eye with the puzzles. So this is the harder side of the ones you post Yeah, on so the one I originally did was a scramble square. So you have like three different square pieces that you have to fit into a three by three uh, square. And then this one is like triangles. So it's like, it's still three or four triangle pieces that are you have to fit into it's like so you have to quite find you have to find which which one it fits into right yeah That's the thing. yeah so we'll have it on screen here for you check it out pause the video if you need to take some time to solve it or go to facebook and you can can uh, like our page and yeah. follow along with Linnea as she posts a whole bunch of these you do like one a week two a week um i do one every second day now i was doing them okay. one a day for a while there but yeah. i find facebook has slowed down a bit not as popular as it used to be, but we still like to show it yeah. off for people who are still there. So it's good. So go, go to Facebook, check out our uh, page there, uh, and you'll get lots of these puzzles like that. Alina, you also have this PDF book, and that is the end of this episode of Puzzle Time, episode one twenty nine. Thank you guys for watching. You can go to where, Linnea, to find out more about us? Uh, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and then you can go to our website. Puzzlemaster.ca. Subscribe to our newsletter that we have. We have a weekly newsletter that goes out. I think it's actually twice a week now. So yep. lots of information in there about new stuff, trending stuff, some riddles. Some of my brain teasers are in there. So. Yeah. And if you want to purchase your own version or copy of Traffic Light by... Lawrence Chen, you can find that at puzzlemaster.ca. Uh, get there quick because I know these puzzles tend to sell out quite fast. We've had trouble keeping them in stock. They're a great one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.